Good evening, and welcome to the Retro Tinker Solstice Special. Now, as you all know, the solstice is a time where we like to honour our loving god Long Noma, who has done so much for us. Tonight, we will be celebrating the holiday season with a reading of the classic tale, The Solstice Miracle, The Gift of Long Noma. Let's begin, shall we? was the morning of solstice, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. For winter was harsh, and no food did grow. The soil was frozen, buried beneath the snow. The waters froze solid, no fish to be caught. The passes snowed under, no supplies could be brought. First fell the elders, brittle and frail. Great Auntie Mildred and Grandfather Dale. Mother grew sick, father as well. The children grew frightened, they'd soon hear death's bell. It seemed all was hopeless, they could hang on no more, when all of a sudden came a knock at the door. On the step was a stranger, in black was he dressed, round his neck a medallion, bearing a strange crest. Please, mister, they said, do you have any food? We're starving to death, and it's not looking good. The stranger did smile, and then shook his head. I'll do you one better. Show me you're dead. Too weak to argue, the stranger they led into the yard where they buried their dead. He knelt on the graves of the newly deceased. Long Noma, he said, this flesh is your feast. The ground it did tremble with a rumbling sound. Something was coming, moving neath the ground. Skin black as coal, scales dark as night, eyes like orbs glowing with violet light. The man cried, Behold, the world worm has come. Long Noma is pleased, now your struggle is done. She first ate the elders, consuming the flesh of Grandfather and Mildred, their bodies most fresh. The world worm was hungry, there she didn't stop, eating her way through the family plot. She munched Granny Mabel, crunched Uncle Pat, she even devoured the old family cat. And as she consumed, something most strange, the snow it did melt and the land it did change. Gone were the graves and gone were the dead, leaving green fields a new life instead. In Grandfather's place, an apple tree stood. The garden was blooming and bursting with wood. The river it thawed, gently it churned, while all the fish and wildlife returned. The family, so grateful, fell to the ground. They thanked the kind stranger, for the miracles abound. It is not I that you need to thank. It is Long Noma's grace on which you must bank. So if you are grateful, waste not your flesh. Bury your dead, and bury them fresh. With these final words, the man walked away. Where he was headed, nobody could say. Through Long Noma's grace, the family was saved, and thus they were given a merry solstice day. Ah, such a delightful tale. A lovely reminder that with a little faith, and ritual sacrifice, we can all be saved from the darkest of times. All praise to Long Noma. Thank you all so much for joining me this evening. I wish you all a very merry solstice. Good night. With a little faith and ritual sacrifice, we can all be saved from the darkest of times. <laughs> Thank you all so much for enjoying me this evening. I wish you all a very merry solstice. Good night. You just said, Thank you all so much for enjoying me this evening. Damn it! <laughs>